Origins of the Weather and Waves The solar radiation on the Earth generates wind, which in turn produces the waves on the sea. It works like this. The sun's rays warm up the Earth's surface. Warm air and humidity ascend. In higher layers, the air cools down and clouds develop, and in some cases, rain falls. Low pressure prevails. The cooled air then sinks back down to the Earth's surface. Here, high pressure then prevails. On the Earth's surface, the air from the high pressure area flows back to the low pressure area and accelerates. This is where wind is generated and that chafes the water surface. In low pressure areas, the strong wind transfers its energy into the water. If a low pressure system or its troughs passes directly overhead, this means bad weather with wind swell. But these choppy waves are mostly of poor quality and are only partly suitable for surfing. But the wind energy transmitted into the sea also wanders from the low pressure areas where one water particle bumps the next. The resulting swell can cover a distance up to a thousand kilometers a day and it works like this. Initially, small ripples form on the water's surface. These ripples unite to form a small group of waves. These wave groups again unite to form larger waves. The larger waves travel in wave sets. Between the sets, persistent set pauses occur. The further a swell wanders, the cleaner it becomes. Because the bigger waves wander faster than the smaller waves, they overtake those and absorb their energy. The smaller waves dissolve and then the distance between the remaining waves becomes bigger. The distance, also called a wave period, is measured in seconds. Swells that have wandered a long distance have a longer period and are more powerful and therefore favored by surfers. On the ocean, these swell waves are hardly perceptible because their energy lies under the water's surface. However, if the swell hits the coast, it is slowed down by the rising ground. The waves telescope and rise more and more steeply until they break. If a low pressure area lies directly before the coast, the swell has only slightly sorted itself out. Large and small waves hit the coast at short intervals. The period is short and there are hardly any set pauses, which for instance makes paddling out difficult.